Well, welcome back for another video. Uh, I'm actually filming indoors today because it's nearly nine o'clock at night and uh, it's very dark and cold outside. So I'm not filming out in the glass house or in the garden, but I'm filming out, filming up in the plant room. Uh, I call it the plant room. It's a spare bedroom with a grow light and some begonias. But I'm calling it my plant room. So I just thought I'd, uh, I would talk through uh, some planning ahead for sowing seeds. Uh, Chilton seeds, I've bought a few from them in the past and very pleased with them. Um, I have got seeds Cosmos by Pinatus Dazla, Nicotiana Silvestris, Cosmos by Pinatus Xanthus, Cosmos Double Click Snow Puff. Cosmos Bipinatus Rubenza, Nicotiana Lime Green, Digitalis Alba. Those are going in the landscape. These are for the glass house later on in the year. I'm not going to be talking about those today. Tomato Moneymaker, Tomato Cherry, Tomato Cucumber Pasca, uh, Chilies. And sweet pepper, and also not talking about these, I've got some seeds of some aeonium and begonias. I'll sort of do those another day. The ones I want to focus on today are these flower plant seeds, like Cosmos. So what I do when I'm thinking about what I want to plant is I make a list on my laptop, and what you can see here is a list of all the plants that I'm planning in this particular scheme. Uh, I've got a mixture of dahlias, which will be arriving later in the year, cannas, which I've got from last year over wintering of the glass house, uh, cosmos and Nicotiana seeds that I've got in the pack here. So what I do is write down the name of the uh, plant, in the first column there and then I write down the color that the flowers are now sometimes they're pure colors like purples oranges sometimes they're mixtures like purple and white or sometimes they're white with pink flecks in the column there is just where I've got them from uh, there's a column there with how much they cost um, and then what I do is I uh, plan out the color scheme of the bed so these numbers in this row here correspond to the bed number. Now, this is the plan for what we call the summer house garden. Uh, the summer house garden is paved, a big path down the middle, uh, a small path going across left to right, and a summer house on the right hand side of that small path. So it's got four really big beds in. The beds are about, well, they're about 12 feet square, I think, something like that. Um, they are planted up with permanent plantings, um, but there's also spaces in them for, um, oh, what you call it, sort of uh, summer bedding. And either the things like the cannas and the dahlias, which I will overwinter, or um, half hardy or tender annuals that I will grow on. Um, there's also bulbs in there which will come up in the spring, but they'll be gone by the time um, these are ready for planting. So once I've got that sorted with the plants and the colours that I like, I then think about organising them and what do I want in what bed. And I use this, if I can get it to scroll across, as a very crude um, approximation of colours. So when you walk down the garden, you go in this direction here from the house being on this side to the end of the garden on that side there. The four beds, the summer house is on this side here between these two beds and it looks across the garden uh, and this there's, there's a narrow path between these two beds here. So these two beds doesn't show up on this diagram, but these two beds are bigger because this path is much wider and has a summer house in. But what I've done is, having um, got the plants that I like and the mixture of colours that I want, I then plan out 
Okay, so I want this bed has got mainly orange and purple flower plants in. This bed here is quite heavily planted with permanent uh, plants um, like, oh gosh, what's in there? The, um, there's a bamboo, uh, there's uh, a canthus in there, there's uh, a tall Arundodonax, uh, Arundodonax, which looks a bit like bamboo. Um, so the plants are, that are going in there, the bedding plants are going, not bedding, sorry, the summer bedding plants that are going in there are mainly pink and white in colour. And then opposite that, we've got a mixture of greens, reds and yellows. In this bed here, there's a large mahonia in the corner there and not a lot else. So this, this bed here is a lot more open and has a lot more planting space in than this one here, which has got more permanent planting in. Um, this one, this bed here, uh, is um, has got a couple of small trees at the back, uh, some lavender at the front, but is largely again sort of open in the middle. So what this does is, I know it's very crude and very chunky, but it gives me an idea of the sort of the colour schemes in the the four beds. So when I'm um, planting these seeds out. I know where they want to go and I'm looking for the overall effect. My favourite gardener has to be Christopher Lloyd. I think he was an absolute master of mixing colours um, and getting the mix of, of colours where they sort of blend and harmonise and a mixture of colours where they clash uh, like they do there and then. That's what I've gone for in that in my planning I'm, i i can't pretend to be anything like as skilled as christopher lloyd but his uh writing succession um he, he, he did a great book called succession planting for color um and he talks a lot about mixing colors so that's what i'm that through through planning this way that's what i was aiming for um to to get this sort of mixture uh, between colours that sort of blend and harmonise more with those that clash. So I hope that's been useful. I've certainly enjoyed sitting down and thinking about what I want, a mixture of the plants that we like and the colours that I like, and then thinking about how they will mix together and the sort of palette colours we'll get when the season uh, is in full flow. There's nothing like planning ahead um, to think about what you um, want to do in the spring and the summer to take you out of the depths of winter. So these seeds here are my um, tomato, cucumber, chilli seeds. They will be planted up, no, they will be sown, sorry, and um, planted up in the glass house over the summer. And any spares I have, I'll give those away. Uh, and then the last lot of seeds, which I know I said I wasn't going to talk much about. Um, these are more my toys for the glass house. Uh, and these are from a chap called Mike from Mike's Rare Plants. He's not on YouTube, but he's on Instagram. And he sells seeds. These are about a pound a packet. Um, and you can see I've got some mimosa. That's the sensitive plant, the one that collapses when you tap it. Um, a load of begonias and a load of different aeoniums. I'm going to play around with those uh, a bit this year. You can see uh, from under my grow light, you can see uh, some aeoniums, aeonium glandulus, that those were seeds that I bought from Mike last year. And you can see, I think, oh, sorry, Oop, I'll get in there one two possibly a third one coming up there that so that's aeonium glandulus no glandulosum sorry and aeonium escobari in there i think there's only one of those i think those other green specks are liverworts only one of those i don't know how uh, how this is going to be it seems very top heavy you know the stem seems very thin for quite a big strong growth but maybe it'll strengthen up we will see um, and then under my grow light I've got a begonia vinosa there a mm, gosh can't think what that is come back to that things that died 
and then some Christmas cactus, or so I think they're probably Thanksgiving cactus cuttings there. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's a euphorbia, uh, which I love. It's a fascinating plant. Anyway, and there are my begonia cuttings growing on. So, yeah, so hopefully um, you've got an insight into how I'm trying to plan my uh, sowing and uh, planting out this year in terms of getting the colours right in the garden and at some point I'll go out and actually show you these areas for real um, but perhaps when the weather's a bit better and it certainly needs to be a bit lighter well thanks very much for watching if you've got this far uh, take care see you soon